57 degrees this morning and hope's pooping uh, that is I believe uh, 13 and a half degrees centigrade if I remember correctly I did the math a little while ago so ran um, Cthulhu Dark Ages last night hope's having some difficulty there she goes a tiny bit of poop good girl hope there she goes she's kicking she's kicking um I wasn't looking forward to the game. I was tired and I was kind of a bad mood. But it turned out pretty good. I feel like online games, I often feel rushed. People talk over each other. Sometimes that becomes a problem. But overall, it was a good game. I ran a local legend, which is an old D&D second edition scenario, a very short one, uh, from Dungeon Magazine. I ran it years ago for these same people, for Matt and Sean and Aaron. No, Sean wasn't there. Matt and Aaron were both there, though. Yori played with us, but I didn't know him 20 years ago. A Local Legend was one of the early scenarios I ran for the Vault... She pooped again. For the Vault of the Spirit Warriors uh, campaign. Come on. And uh, afterwards, I found the role-playing journal for it. Uh, on my Patreon, which was great actually, because then I could just download it. I didn't have to look for it in a physical copy or find it on a uh, on external hard drive. And I started reading through that. Uh, Matt and Sean left, but Aaron stuck with me while I read or summarized the entirety of that game session uh, from January of 2000. I love having those role playing journals. Anyway, um. So I didn't get to bed till about 11.30, I guess. Uh, I think I fell asleep pretty quickly. And then I only got up once or twice in the night. Hope got me up at 6.30. She was ready to go. Which is fine. I think we're going to start... We're, we're transitioning back towards 7 o'clock. And... I actually feel well rested this morning. Not well rested, but better rested than I have in a while. So that's good as well. Uh, dreams. I dreamt. <laughs> come on, girls, come on. The only part of the dream I remember was uh, I was in Japan with the whole family. And uh, we were watching, like, some kind of a live show. We were sitting on benches. That tapered upward behind us, almost like a, a, a sporting event, but smaller. And then somebody was putting on a show. Now Bella's pooping. Hope is pooping again. She's been pooping a lot. All right. Oh, I don't know where Hope pooped. I want to take another look at it. She has squatted three times, so I need to keep an eye on that. Anyway, uh, so uh, the dream was we were at this show in Japan, small venue. And this kid behind me starts clapping this rhythm. Uh, turns out it was my new nephew, William, who was maybe two. Probably shouldn't have been brought to something like this at his age. Uh, his mother, my sister-in-law, was sitting back into my left. And she starts clapping. Oh, she's so excited. William is doing something. And it's disrupting this live show that we're watching. But, you know, it's about her and her kids. And I guess I rolled my eyes or I muttered something. And she just starts yelling at me. Uh, she is just bitching loudly in this, what is essentially a theater. Uh, because I had the audacity to think that uh, her precious two-year-old child, who doesn't exist. This isn't a real person. Uh, William is totally fabricated in my dream. Um, wasn't the center of the universe. Uh... So I got up and I walked over to one side and I was looking like looking at a brochure that was on a wall or something, uh, kind of like flipping through it, like I'm done with this. And that was it. That was the end of the dream. Okay, we got a bunch of deer. I'm not gonna be able to get any footage because Hope has already barked at him, which is disappointing. Oh, there's one coming back. Okay, five more deer. There were two before. Nice. There they are again. Do 
appear in the fog. Um, I would like to make it closer, but I can't do that with just one finger. <laughs> All right, come on, let's go. Ducks, there's some ducks over there. Oops, afternoon walk. It is 69 degrees out in November. That's 20.1 cent or 20.5 centigrade. Holy mackerel. Hot. And not in a good way. So today has been a mess. Uh I got fiddling around with role-playing journals this morning. I didn't get very far, I don't know why. Uh, there was some other stuff happening. What else was I doing? I can't even remember. But I didn't get much. I didn't get, only got like 16 minutes into role-playing journals all day. Which is terrible. There was something else. Well, I hung some stuff in mom's room. I uh, took my shower, but it was ready to go by 10.30. But something happened. And I got very little done this morning. I don't remember what it was. It was all stuff that I was constantly working on. Uh, and then this afternoon, I called Frigid Air, which took an hour for them to tell me that I need to call back in 24 hours. Come on, girls, come on. So, there's that. So that was kind of a waste, but I guess I'll call them tomorrow. Uh, I played a little Minecraft on Rose Cumber, Ross Cumber's server, because she was getting on supposedly, but then she never got on. And puts around there. I also had to do some recording because I got a couple of packages. One of those is already up. And then, what do you do? Who's that? It's the neighbor. Uh, so I was working on those right before four o'clock. I can't remember what I was doing this morning. It was something that needed done, but for the life of me, I cannot remember it. Uh, also got bread baked. We took out some steaks. So, two years ago today was when Dad died. Uh, in the morning, he went, he had multiple myeloma. I think that's how you pronounce it. Come on, girls, come on. Which is a, oh. <laughs> that is a brave squirrel. Which is, which is a, which is cancer. Uh, it's a bad one. Once you're diagnosed, it's usually too late. So, and he died a couple months after he was diagnosed. So we're going to cook out tonight since it's so warm. We're going to have a couple of steaks and rhubarb potatoes and I baked bread. And we're going to have a beer and maybe talk about dad a little bit. Mom also told me right before we came on the walk. Oh, people. Mom told me there was a car accident over on Bethel Road, which is not far from here. And a beagle puppy is missing. They must have run away from the accident or something. So we're going to keep an eye out for any puppies. It would be neat to be able to find that puppy. But Bethel Road's pretty long. <laughs> Ooh, that's a little warm. Turn that down. Very thin steaks for dinner tonight. What you got to say? Now we're going to have a toast here to, to Joe Miller, who isn't with us any longer, but I'm sure he's with us in heaven and probably having a beer with us. And we miss God him. God bless you, Joe. Yep. Take a drink. You got to take a drink after you make a toast. Is it good? <laughs>